Morning, Hank. Hola, Paco. Buenos dias, amigo. No tiene ninguna idea de lo que está diciendo, ¿verdad? That's not fair. You're speaking in Spanish. You started it. Yes, I know, but I'm brushing up on some useful phrases that are going to help me communicate when I get to Santa Fe Canyon. How about this? Hay un baño en su camisa? That's a real icebreaker, asking me if I have a toilet in my shirt. Uh, that explains the funny look I got from Jose in X-ray. <clears throat> Oh, what are you still doing here, Hank? I thought you were off to find Gina and bring her back. Yeah, well, I hit a little uh, snag with my flight arrangements. Vergüenza Airlines only flies to San Pequeño once a week, and I couldn't get on it. The plane was full? No, I'm broke. So, what are you going to do? Don't you worry. There is more than one way to brillar un gato. <laughs> Why would you want to polish a cat? Will this day never end? Jack, it's only 8 in the morning. Time passes so slowly in hell. But even hell has its moments. Now, before you say one word, Miss McAfee, uh, let me apologize for Paco's behavior. What did I do? <laughs> Women don't appreciate being stared at, Paco. Forgive him. He's not accustomed to being in close proximity to someone as attractive as you are. Is that so? It's not true at all. Oh, I <laughs> got shame on her. Now you're insulting her. Casey McAfee is one of the most attractive and fascinating women in all of corporate America. That's just my opinion. Well, for once we agree on something, Jack. <laughs> Well, then let's make it official. Sleep with me. <laughs> She's definitely warming up, Paco. Jack, she laughed at you. Look, she still is. Well, what do you expect with your standing here gawking so rudely while we're trying to discuss our relationship? Jack, you don't have a relationship with her. Yeah, it won't be long now. Till what? Till she slugs you? <laughs> oh, Jack, you're not going to get anywhere with a woman talking like that. Oh, here's the big expert, huh? Oh, when was the last time you were with a woman? Tuesday. Tuesday? Really? Yeah, well, I think it was a Tuesday. <laughs> I know it was an election day. Is that a Tuesday? <laughs> Observe our Ms. McAfee. Now that the heat's been turned up a notch, she keeps finding these flimsy excuses to look me up. Jack. <gasps> yes? There's a clogged shower drain in 324. Dive in. I told you, Paco, she wants me. She wants you to dig out a hairball. Annie, do we have any aspirin? In the hospital? <laughs> Gee, I'll have to check. I happen to have a tension headache and your sarcasm doesn't help. Oh, you know what does help? Total relaxation. Just let everything go. Not your legs or you'll fall down. <laughs> Here, like this. <laughs> you can practically see my head clearing, can't you? Nothing but blue sky in there. <laughs> Annie, you know what's wrong with our hospital? All we have here are sick people. Boy, nothing slips by you. <laughs> oh, 
we need is a better class of sick people. Sick people who want to recuperate in style and are willing to pay through the nose for it. You really care, don't you? Uh-huh. You bet I do. The one way to get out of this career killer, I have to make this place profitable. We need VIP hospital suites. Luxury skyboxes for the sick and ailing. Sort of like one of those pet houses in your hotels? Sort of, exactly. Posh suites with track lighting and six-dollar glasses of ginger ale. Now that is an ingenious idea. VIP hospital suites. Didn't I specifically ask you to unclog a drain? Well, you may not want to get rid of me now, especially since I can solve your problem. Excuse me? The VIP hospital suites, if they're that important to you, I could be persuaded to make a sizable donation. Really? You'd do that? Uh-huh. Did you have a figure in mind? I had a figure in mind since the day you walked in here, but let's talk money. What would you say to, oh, a million dollars? A million? You'd give me a million dollars? Got your heart racing, didn't I? A million. No strings attached. No, well, I didn't say that. What are you saying? I'm simply proposing the beginning of a very exciting relationship. Jack. Are you offering me a million dollars to go to bed with you? Yes, that would be the string I'm attaching. I don't know what to say. Well, the important thing is what you didn't say. You didn't say no. That's fine. Take your time. Think it over. Well, you seem to be in pretty decent shape. Yeah, I'm an incredible specimen of manhood. All right, we'll just give this tetanus booster, and your immunizations will be up to date. Which arm do you want it in? Doesn't matter. Shots don't bother me. <laughs> do it my neck if you want. <laughs> Charlie, that cruise ship of yours, when it goes to South America, do you ever stop in San Pequeño? No, we steam right past San Pequeño, about two miles off the coast. Two miles? Guy in pretty good shape could swim that, huh? <laughs> you wouldn't have to swim at all after the sharks rip you to shreds. <laughs> The current would wash your remains right up on the beach. <laughs> hey, great job, Doc. I didn't feel a thing. I didn't do anything. But Charlie, the crews, do you think they might need a ship's doctor? Nah, we already got a sawbones. Why would you want to go to San Pequeño for her anyway? The nightlife there stinks. Last time I was there, the only thing that crawled into my bed had eight legs and a stinger. <laughs> Scorpion? No, four hookers and a cocktail shake. <laughs> Yeah, of course a scorpion. All right, this might smart a little. Go ahead, won't hurt me. There you go. Charlie, listen, you, you ever been in love? Yeah, long, long time ago. We were young and starry-eyed and totally devoted to each other. You know, we'd still be together today if I hadn't hit on her mom. <laughs> Well, love is why I have to get to San Pequeno, and I, I will do anything. A, a pastry chef, bingo caller, shuffleboard puck retriever. Sorry, Hank, those are union gigs. <laughs> well, there's nothing available on the Ocean Queen, but I could check some of the other ships for you. That'd be great. Thanks. No problem. And again, Doc, great job. Don't mention it. Stuff. I'm sorry, Annie. I always protect my sources. Paco wants to tell you himself it's his business. It's true, Annie. I was there. Jack offered Casey a million bucks to sleep with him. Now, you two ought to be ashamed of yourself spreading rumors like that. But now that the damage is done, keep it coming. What'd she say? Well, she didn't say anything. I guess she's thinking it over. Can you imagine a million dollars? Mm. Who would you sleep with for a million bucks? Denzel Washington, no doubt about it. I don't know where I'd come up with that kind of money, though. I guess, I guess the real question is, would you sleep with someone you didn't like if they paid you a million? 
No way. Now, there are some things I wouldn't do for any amount of money. Not me. For a million bucks, I'd kill myself. But you'd be dead. Yeah, but I'd be a millionaire. Well, what difference would it make you be dead? You just don't get it, do you? So do you think she'll do it? Who, Casey? No telling what that woman might do. I wouldn't put it past her, though. Casey is just the kind of person that's liable to put a price tag on her self-respect. Interesting. Casey has no scruples. Is that the prevailing opinion? Well, I didn't say that. Well, not quite that. But you do think I'm the sort of person who'd take a million to hop in the sack with Jack? Well, that seems to be what Jack thinks. That's all I'm going by. Well, I'm asking what you think, Annie. Do you actually believe I'd stoop to Jack's level and do anything for money? Well, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Well, I see. Nice to know what you think of me, Annie. Jack, about your offer. You're on. <laughs> Let me guess. Is it about my million-dollar offer? Yeah. Go ahead. You find me at all attractive? <laughs> no. No. No, I don't. And once again, Paco, no. You have completely missed the point. This isn't about money. Not even about sex. Well, what is the point? Casey's been sending signals that she wants to get better acquainted, so I send signals back that, yes, I'd be interested in a relationship. You sure you're not imagining that? No, 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 no. There is definitely a mutual attraction. Offering her a million dollars just accelerated the attraction process. It does cut through a lot of the small talk. Oh, absolutely. Well, now, see, an ordinary man... W well, let's take you, for example. <laughs> Now, let's just say that you've seen the woman of your dreams, and like the gravitational pull of two imploding supernovas, you're drawn closer to her. And now, as you stand next to her, what do you say? Is this seat taken? And she says... Uh, I don't know, usually something like, uh... Scram. Scram, beat it, take a hike, squirrel boy, something like that. Yeah. Those are the times when a million dollars really comes in handy. See, I didn't give Casey some tired line that she's heard a hundred times from a hundred different guys. I paid her the ultimate compliment, and it worked. Yeah, but when she said yeah to your offer, she wasn't exactly swept away. Well, just because she wasn't giggling and carrying on like one of your beer-soaked bowling alley conquests. <laughs> Casey McAfee, you have to remember, is a very, very sophisticated lady. It's not her style to appear too eager. Jack, let's not put this off. We're on for tonight, right? Tonight? Really? Great. I assume you have the money? Yes, I have the money. But let's not talk about this in front of the children. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, squirrel boy. Right. Jack, I have to admit the whole idea of this is starting to excite me. Oh, well, that makes two of us. We'll fly to St. Bart's, we'll check into a fine hotel, and we'll be lying on a moonlit beach before midnight. Is that your fantasy, Jack? That, and you wearing nothing but an Indian war bonnet. <laughs> but we can talk about that on the plane. Well, actually, I had something a little different in mind. Okay, I'll wear the Indian war bonnet. <laughs> no. No. You see, ever since I got here... Yeah? I've had this fantasy... Yeah? Uh, 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 not yet. <laughs> I've had this fantasy about... Yeah? About doing it. Yeah? In an operating room. <laughs> huh. You don't have a problem with that, do you? No, no. It just seems a little clinical, that's all. Oh, mm -hmm. I know, but that's part of the appeal, you I know. Suppose. Clean, crisp cotton sheets, hot lights on stainless steel, and all the oxygen you could ever need. We'll need plenty of that. Well, not yet. <laughs> Operating room two? Operating room two. Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. Oh, can't I just take you to dinner first? You know, some mm, cozy hideaway. Why waste time on dinner? I forget dinner. <laughs> Cheap date. <laughs> Requisition forms, Annie. They're due Tuesday, so get them back for my signature ASAP, okay? 
Annie. What? Penny for your thoughts. Sorry, some things aren't for sale. Oh. I sense you don't approve of what I've done. Now, Casey, there's a lot of things you do that I disapprove of, but I cannot believe that you're doing what you want to do. Well, from what you said earlier, I thought you thought I would do it. Yeah, I thought it. I guess that's why I said it. But I didn't think me saying what I thought would make you do what I said. <laughs> I thought so. Annie, you're not responsible. I could have said no. Yeah, well, why didn't you? I guess I can think of a million reasons. <laughs> oh, Hank. Um, yeah. Charlie Dietz called. Oh, that's, that's my contact on the cruise line. Did he leave a message? Yeah. He asked me to give you these names of ships leaving for the tropics in the next few days. All three of them have you on standby. That's great. Three ships. Super. Did he say anything else? Yes. He asked me if I was naked. I can't wait to see Gina's face when the attending physician of her dreams shows up in San Pequeño. I bet she's thinking about me right now. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been... Two hours since my last confession. I'm going to stop you there. Is that you again? Gina? <laughs> yes, it is, Padre. Is this about Hank Kaplan again? <laughs> yes, it is, Padre. Gina, you've been in here every day since you got home. Every time the child kicks, I feel a need to repent. <laughs> Besides, there's nothing on TV here except this six million dollar man. Ah, Colonel Steve Austin. Okay, Gene. You know the drill. Five Our Fathers and three Hail Marys. Right. And Gina. Yes, Padre. Take a walk, rent a video, lighten up. Yes, Padre. Well, I just hope that Casey has a good imagination. Why? So she can close her eyes and pretend she's with somebody besides Jack Trenton. You do that, Annie? No way I'd be with Jack Trenton in the first place. No, I mean, you know, when you're in bed with Fred, do you ever pretend he's somebody else? Oh, yeah. I pretend he's somebody who's awake. <laughs> Papa, would you help me with this stuff, would you please? What do you got there? Well, I checked out the operating room, and it's very sterile. Hmm, imagine that. Yeah. So I got some flowers and some candles and an Indian war bonnet and, you know, the usual mood enhancers. There's only one thing that's going to enhance her mood. Well, and I have that right here. A check for a million dollars. Whoa, just like the publisher's clearinghouse. <laughs> Well, I knew she needed something special to commemorate the occasion, so I had this done. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? I'm thinking good luck trying to cast that at a liquor store. <laughs> Anybody here? Close the door. Say, what a good idea. <laughs> Well, fancy meeting you here. I know you're here somewhere. Jack. Yeah? Let's get undressed. Now? So fast? Oh, yes, as fast as we can. Well, say, you really get to it, don't you? Okay, okay. You brought the money, I presume? Yes, I did. I brought the biggest check you've ever seen. I have it right here. But, uh, gee, it's awfully dark. Oh, uh, Jack, don't let's you think just forget can... about the check. Oh, okay. Oh, let's get these clothes off. They can be so, so, oh, binding. Yeah, I hate that. Oh. Well, that is better. Oh, wow. Are you undressed? Yes, yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm completely undressed. Are you sure? Well... <laughs> Now I'm sure. Where, where are you? Casey, I, I can't even see you. Oh, Jack, and I want you to see me. Ooh. Oh. Let me just adjust these lights. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, wait, wait just a second.
morning. Are those requisitions done? Right here. Hey, Casey, about what I said yesterday. Oh, don't worry, Annie. It's forgotten. Oh, good. Totally forgotten. Bet you said I was the kind of a person who placed a price tag on her self-respect and stooped to Jack's level. Erased from my memory bank. <laughs> then I guess there's no need to apologize, huh? It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, well, I am sorry. And if it matters any, I'm glad that I was wrong about you. Sleeping with somebody for a million dollars, what was I thinking? <laughs> oh, Annie, I haven't been here long enough for you to get to know me. And when you do, you'll realize my bottom line is three million. How are you feeling today? Just dandy. Why, how should I be feeling? Like a million bucks. <laughs> Actually, I'm just a teensy bit hurt. I am a human being, you know? Oh, and so am I, Jack. That's why I set you up. I oh. thought you needed to know how it feels to be insulted and demeaned. No, I no, never... No, no, let me finish. I wanted you to see that there are just some things that a person doesn't do to another person, especially if that person is me. Well, I saw that. But you want to know what else I saw? Your own pasty white reflection in the window? I, besides that, I saw that you realized that our relationship is more than mere money. Jack, we have no relationship. Maybe not yet, but there's a start. How do you figure that? Well, you could have gotten out of here with that million bucks. That was your ticket away, but you gave it up. You gave it up to see me naked. Jack, the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> There's hope for her and me, you know that, Paco? What makes you say there's hope? She saw me naked. <laughs> Jack, everybody's seen you naked. Yeah, I know. But she called me the Emperor. <laughs> no, 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 I'll be there in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Charlie came through. I got a job on a ship headed for San Pequeno. <laughs> <gasps> Bye-bye. Hank, get a rat? Yeah, he's working his way there on a cruise ship. Is that perfect or what? Getting paid to take a cruise? Almost sound too good to be true. Great day of fishing, huh, guys? <laughs> Um, not to point any fingers, but I, I had a picture of Gina in my wallet, and it, it looks a lot like the one that's hanging in your locker. <laughs> Keep it, it's a gift. <laughs> but could you not look at it while I'm around? <laughs> Guys, want to sing some songs?